a lot of people ask me to show them my Tramontina machete. This is it. <laughs> of course I'm going to say something about it. You can see mine is really rusted. And actually here you can see the pattern of the sheath. How this happened, I left it a week in the trunk of my car and it rained. It soaked up the moisture and it immediately rusted. Now the machete, as you get it, it comes unsharpened. I mean really dull. This part I have not sharpened and you can see me pressing into it. It doesn't cut at all. This part, however, it's still sharp. I worked a bit on it, but not that much. I mean, I just used a diamond stone, diamond side of my Falcon even. And what I did, because it goes really easy, I just uh, put the machete, <laughs> the handle into my chest, and I just went, as you would see some people do with an axe. Or other convex tools. You can see the uh, rust coming off. This part, it's a bit more tricky. You have to put it in the ground. It works really well, really fast. Let me just take a... I'm usually wiping it off on my pants, but I'm wearing my jeans, so... And they're clean. <laughs> and uh, after that, the ceramic side, I just go like this from, you know, cutting into the stone. Mind your fingers, you know. If I were to go too far, I would cut my fingers. And... This is kind of all I do to sharpen a machete. It's not shaving sharp, but it catches, so it's good enough. Like I said, as it comes, it comes unsharpened. The spine is very rough, so if you want to strike a fire steel, you might want to straighten it out, but I think you can strike a fire steel with this one. And the handle is horrible. I don't know what kind of wood this is, I don't care, but you got these grooves here. Now I used uh, gloves a lot while cutting with it, or I cut in very short segments. And I had no problems with it. But if you're going to use it for a whole day's work, I recommend you take some sandpaper to the handle or a wooden file and uh, mold it a bit after your hand, because as it is, it's very rough. Now, this is the 20 inch, I think. And it's about 3 millimeters thick. 2.5-3 millimeters. It's very, very bendy. And the speed just takes care of all your needs. It cost me about as much as my 511. So, $10, I think. And the sheath for it was actually the same price. I maybe should have built myself something, but um, I do like Cordura and I thought it's going to be good. And it is, because it's very light. You know, you can actually put the sheath in your pocket if you don't have this on your belt and work with your machete. That's the main reason I got this sheath. Now, as I sharpen the machete, I have to be careful putting it in because it already cut my sheath a bit and I'm going to have to put some duct tape over it or something. And you have the Velcro straps. So this is how it stayed in my trunk when it rusted. But it's a great thing. I mean, it's not a high quality tool. It's a very poor quality tool. But if you put the time into it, which I didn't, and I'm still pleased with it. Someday I will when I'll get the time. It can be a, an awesome, awesome tool. Um, you know, maybe put a patina on it or oil it when you stow it away. Now, like I said, in the hand, just letting the, the machete do the work for you. It does it great. I'm, I was thinking about comparing this one with my um, Persian 
of course, this is much larger and uh, has much more heft to it. Colhane, what he did, uh, that's where I started liking machetes, watching his videos. He, he puts a very fine scandy grind here and then convexes the rest. Uh, I did that with my first machete, but that one was just too big. I think that was a 26 inch machete or a 24 inch machete. Thick stock and heavy as hell. I did um, work on that handle and the handle was good. So just some rough sun sandpaper or a wooden file and you'll have what you're looking for. I do enjoy the machete. I did um, find out that steel beats flesh basically. The machete was not really sharpened and one minute I was uh, not careful. And I hit a, hit a piece of wood and the machete um, ricocheted into my shin. Now, like I said, it wasn't very sharpened. It didn't really bite me. It just uh, <laughs> gave me a kiss. It wasn't a deep bite or anything, but that just goes to show one moment of not paying attention when working with a machete or with any knife. But a machete can be a very dangerous tool. However, for the price you get it, this is a lot of tool. And at some point, if you want to make a nice survival knife out of this, you can just cut it and have a good knife. It's so bendy, it's really practical. The tip is not sharpened at all, at all. It's just, just like the spine. And I used, I, I didn't want to sharpen this. I um, decided to use this as a digging tool, and it does a great job. I got a lot of chips in it. Um, one right here, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up behind my thumb. Uh, I just chopped wood on rocks and I hit the rocks and I didn't mind. You know, I, I it, it wasn't like I didn't know what I was doing. I got chips in it and it's fine for the money. Like I said, you know, like with a Mora and it feels good in the hand. You know, it just, I don't know if you can hear that, but it just feels good and sounds great and it does a good job. You can uh, go through pine, especially pine, is great. Like this thick uh, a, a pine tree, this thick that was dry. I don't know, about four or five, six strokes. If you aim them really good, you can get to the center because it has such mass and speed to it. If I would have uh, done a better job at sharpening it, it would have been even better. So, um, for the money, a great tool if you can find it. I didn't buy this one over the internet. I just bought it at the f hunting and fishing store that is right near where I live. Um, they, <laughs> surprisingly, have cheap Mora knives and uh, cheap Tramontina machetes. Everything else is very expensive, but <laughs> the Tramontinas and the Moras are very cheap. It is too big to be carried in a backpack, you know. And um, I didn't get this for the backpack. In the summer, this will stay in the trunk of my car always. You know, it's it's better than uh, having an axe there. This one's much more practical, and it does everything you need a cutting tool to do. Uh, no questions asked. Uh, pair this with a small pocket knife or a mora and um, you got yourself a, a great toolkit. You know, that's just my opinion. I have very little experience in working with this. I mean, I've been working with it the whole summer and I was very impressed. I never took it out to the woods though. Uh, just at the lake. We went to the lake, I had my car and I always took the machete to prep the firewood. But it does a great job. I never took it in the woods and um, I'm guessing I'm gonna do the sharpening myself. Every time I uh, have somebody sharpen my knives, I find that they burn the edges and they put a way too thin grind for, for chopping. So I'm gonna sharpen it myself with a file and maybe with some stones. And I'm gonna see, uh, probably next summer, see how it does. You know, also I will have to modify the handle. Have to, that's a, that's a must if you are gonna chop for an hour or two with it, you know. 
this is not a comfortable handle. I mean, for 5, 10, 15 minutes, you can get away with no blisters, but uh, these edges are sharp, so they will bite you. Alrighty, um, this was my mm, show and talk of the Tramontino Machete, the 20 inch, I guess. If you'd like to know more about it, feel free to um, write me a personal message or comment and if I get the time and I think it's worth doing I'll do it have a great day